van een eventuele uh, moord of een eventuele suicide, maar waarschijnlijk is het allebei niet. Miauw. That's it. Uh, pierce my earrings. Why don't you? Hmm. Is that a puzzle at this point? Oh, I wonder what sort of puzzle a cat would be playing with. Yeah, a cat with a puzzle. Never seen it before. All right, per pinstripes. I'll show you how it's done. School sister. Two sisters attend the same school. Each morning the younger sister's sister sets off first, and the older sister leaves the house when the younger sister has traveled 100 meters. Okay. The younger sister walks at one meter per second. Okay. That would take it as 100 seconds. And the older sister walks two meters per second. What is the minimum number of seconds it would take the older sister to catch up? They live in the same house, travel the same route, and neither of them turn back to their way of to school. Okay. This. What's the minimum number of seconds it would take the older sister to catch up? Even kijken, ze, is 100, ze heeft een 100 meter voorsprong, maar die moeten we niet meetellen met de secondes. Um, in 50 seconden is... Ik denk dat het 75 is, want uh, in uh, 75 seconden heeft... Um, nee, dat klopt niet. Want in 75 seconden is um, de oudere zus... Op, op 150 meter. En de jonge zuster is dan op 175 meter. Uh, dat is 75. Dus als je dan 15 seconden doet, dan is de jongere zus op, um, 105, is op 190. En de oudere zus is dan op 180. Is het niet gewoon 100 seconden? Ja, het is gewoon 100 seconden. Zo moeilijk is het helemaal niet. Niet? Huh? Want in 100 seconden heeft uh, de oudere zus. Uh, 200 meter gelopen. En in 100 seconden heeft die uh, jongere zus 100 meter gelopen. Zo. Zou tellen vanaf dat de jongere zus vertrekt, want dan is het 200. Maar dat zou ik wel raar vinden. This puzzle's got some bite. That's just a warm-up one, wasn't it? Moet er 100 zijn. Jongere zuster, oudere zuster. 
Zij is op 100 meter. Dat is vanaf seconde 0. Hè? Zij op 100, zij op 0. Als zij 100 seconden loopt, komt zij op 200. Als ze hier 100 bij komen, dan komt ze ook op 200. Dan zijn ze toch elkaar na 100 seconden ge, uh, ge, 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 gemiet. The both keep walking. The other sister will get one meter closer to the younger sister every second. So she could catch up with her after 100 seconds. However, there's a way she could catch up sooner. Younger sister walks one meter per second. One detail we don't know is how far the school is. For the older sister, catch up is the shortest possible time. Where would the school have to be? At 100 meters. Dus dan zou binnen 50 seconden zou zij op school moeten zijn. This puzzle's got some bite. Wow, wat een kut puzzel zeg. Holy kwakamoli. There, done it. Haha, <laughs> I wonder where this Mogi got the puzzle from in the first place. Okay. Good evening, sir. What have you caught? Anything? Ah, fellow night fisherman, are you? What have I caught, you ask? Let me see. Fish, yes, I've caught fish. Oh, dearie me. Um, I'm not sure we're going to have so much luck with this chap. Hmm, we're investigating the incident that occurred here earlier today. Do you know anything about it? Incident? What incident? Oh, you mean that incident? So you know about it? The woman fell into the river? Know about it? I saw it. I saw it with my own eyes. Bingo! An eyewitness straight off the bat. That is fishy. Could you tell us what you saw, please? Hmm, what who saw? Me? Yes, <laughs> you just said uh, that you saw what took place with your own eyes. Oh yes, of course, uh, the place. Yes, I saw them alright, although it's unusual to see play. I don't know what the place is. Here, so it might have been sold. No, 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 oh, that's some fish, oops. We ask about the woman who fell into the river. A woman, you say, in the river? Do you know? I think I might have seen something like that, or did I? <sighs> For a moment. Holy mackerel! Your dog made me jump with that odd sounding bark. But actually, uh, it's made me remember something. Really? It was this morning, early. The sun wasn't quite up yet. It was here a fishing. I was here fishing as usual. Anyway, nothing was biting, and I was just gazing over the opposite bank absent-mindedly when it happened. I could make out a fellow standing there, and then another figure appeared behind him and shoved him in. What happened to the man who fell in? Well, I didn't see him thrashing about or anything. Uh, he just vanished. Uh, I don't know if he went under uh, straight away or if he washed downstream or what. Then uh, whoever did it just ran off, just like that, without a second glance. It's a murder then, no doubt about it. There's more to the case though, Ernest. Carry on please sir, what else did you t uh, can you tell us? Well, before I had the time to be surprised, a woman on this side in the river threw herself in as well. Are you certain about that? She definitely threw herself in. That's certain. I've got a memory like... I mean, I've got a great memory. Says who? 
She was a young woman. She was standing not far from me, just looking into the water, with a sad look in her eyes, but never expected to her to jump in. And it was the same with her, she just disappeared straight away. Once she hit the water, I never saw her again. Someone must have called the uh, oil bill because they were here not long after. I don't think they found her though. Hmm, so the woman did really throw herself in. It was suicide then. And did you uh, get a look at whoever was who, whoever it was who pushed the man in the other bank, sir? Oh, I saw him alright, yes. But I couldn't really tell you what they looked like. The river's wide here, see? A fair old distance to make out a distinguished feature as such like. So you couldn't see the culprit's face then? Sorry, not at all. No. I couldn't even guess the person's height, let alone describe their face. I see. Well, you've uh, still given us very valuable statement, sir. Thank you. You've been a real help. Real help? Ill help? <laughs> Why, have you spotted Tom? Don't worry, I grabbed the bait and we took him together. We'll hook him together. No, that's alright. Thank you again for your time. Goodbye now. Hmm, the opposite bank is too far away for our fisherman friend to have seen, um, to have made out the face of the person responsible for pushing the victim into the river. Aha, uh -huh, I have an idea. Ernest, could you tell, uh, could you just sprint over the other side of the river now? Just sprint over? That's the best part of a mile. He's not a dog's, has not a dog's body cat. Oh, I don't mind. Uh, you don't mind? Of course not, I'll be delighted to. Delighted to? Are you barking? Now what are you grinning like that uh, for? Have you forgotten the legend? When you gaze at each other from the opposite banks, the things you will, your love will... I mean, never mind, You'll be. I'll be on my way. As quickly as you can, please Ernest. Now that's a bad case of puppy love. Ooh, that was a long way. Now that Miss Layden should be just over. Yes, there, there she is. Ooh, Miss Layden. Hmm, the other bank certainly is a long way off. I can't make out Ernest's face from here. The old fisherman was right, it seems. Aren't you going to wave back? Is uh, the little tiger going to wave his arm off in a minute? It looks like, like witness statements aren't going to help us identify the culprit. We'll have to find other venues. Avenues, sorry. You're not hearing me at all, are you? Poor pup. Throw him a bone, cat. Hmm. Two people killed in exactly the same way as the legend. Coincidence? There's no such thing as coincidence. <laughs> I'm back. Uh, I was waving. Did you see me, miss? Hmm, no. You didn't? Well, uh, it was, I did, was deep in thought, Ernest. Oh, I see. Gosh, that sprint must be catching up with me. I feel shattered all of a sudden. Don't be uh, disheartened, pinstripes. The road uh, to true love is never easy, they say. Ernest, there's no time to catch your breath, I'm afraid. Uh, we have to find out more about the victims now. Both the man who was, push was pushed and the woman uh, who threw herself in were residents of Chancellor Lane, according to what Inspector Hastings told us. So let's, let's head back there and see if we can find anything out uh, that might be useful. Huh, okay. Not a, not a bike. I'm not Chancellor Lane. Ding ding!
It's rather a funny coincidence that both the man and the woman lived here on Chancellor Lane. You uh, could say they were our neighbors, but I don't recall ever having seen either them of, the, of them before. Well, it's not like we have been on Chancellor Lane for long, is it? I'm sure we uh, wouldn't recognize the majority of our neighbors. Anyway, let's see if everyone else on the street has some information for us. Hey, Impusel. Good evening, madam. I wonder if you might spare us a minute to answer some questions. Mm, yes, what about? Have you heard about the couple who live in here on Chancellor Lane that were missing this morning after falling into the Thames? Thick and thin, you mean? Yes, I heard. It's so awful. Do you know them personally? Oh yes, they're very well known around here. They're both performers, you see. They love the uh, limelight, those two. Like this. In the spotlight. Okay. There's a silhouette of someone standing on a pitch black stage. They're waiting for the lights to come on so they can dazzle the audience. Can you light up the whole stage using only four spotlights? The lights change direction if they hit a mirror. Uh, touch a light so uh, touch a light to switch it on or off and illuminate every single square with the spotlights. Oh, this was not so moeilijk. If you'll entertain my idea here. Deze was not so very difficult. Layton, of course. Well done, you solved it. You're very good, aren't you? Can you tell me more about the couple in the question now? Yes, Vic and Tim are both star performers in the musical theater. They're both actors, you mean? Yes, and they're very talented singers and dancers. They have that inimitable stage presence only natural performers possess. It's a terrible blow for the West End. There's a suggestion that Tim was pushed. Do you think it's possible someone uh, bore him a crutch? Tim? I can't imagine so. He's such a mild-mannered fellow. And I saw Fig just yesterday. Uh, she didn't seem any different to normal. Uh, I just can't believe uh, she would have thrown herself into the river. Really, you saw her yesterday? That's right, at Lipsky's Patisserie. Fick absolutely adores the cakes there. I, I can't bear it uh, when I think of Fick's face lighting up the prospect of one of Alex's cakes. Uh, I have to believe they're both alright. They'll be found soon, surely. They must pop up again somewhere, won't they? Let's hope so. Well, thank you for your time, madam. Oh, you're welcome. I'll just keep on uh, praying for a miracle. Hmm, would someone, uh, would someone who was so excited about a cake only a day earlier really have thrown themselves into a river the following day? Hmm... It could be in a final farewell treat to herself. Of course it couldn't. No matter how depressed you were, a delicious cake would always put you in a brighter frame of mind. <laughs> Not anyone thinks like you, Kat. Uh, thank goodness. Well, we're at least certain that Fick paid to fi a visit to Lipskis yesterday. Perhaps Alex might have show, uh, know something. No, I kept on clicked. Yes, you're right, Ernest. You should go there. Um, at once and see we should go there at once and see what we can glean and if you still have some of cake uh, he sold to Fick yesterday we obviously obviously have to sample it
Nou, we hebben nog niet met hem gepraat. Ciao bella, signorita. Uh, I have been waiting uh, especially expectantly for you to visit us again. Hmm, I'm sure Miss Leyden doesn't appreciate your overfamiliar tone. How kind of you. And good evening. Actually, I was hoping to ask you a few questions. Have you heard, heard about the couple who went missing in the Thames this morning? Of course, Vic and Tim are both regular customers of ours. I see. They come here together on dates, you mean? No, they always come with friends. Uh, I don't think I've ever seen them yet on their own as a couple. Really? Hmm. Well, thank you for your time. You aren't dining with us today, Senorita. Such a shame. Well, don't be a stranger. Ciao, ciao. And jullie, don't be a stranger. And adios, amigos.